What is up guys, welcome back. So yesterday I actually raised my Dark Hunter to Evo 2 or Evo 3 and I got him to 5 stars max level. I, I gemmed him up with some, um, I would say decent runes, they're not like the best, they're just random 4 star runes. But they're they're the right stats, right, right set. Um, I used the Conviction set to boost his resist up a little bit because it's at 36%. This is basically just like a first look video, it's not really a, um, a review, probably. I, I don't think a monster deserves a review unless you're, you're like, you fully six start it and have it like, you know, gemmed up with like, actual proper gems. Um, but this is going to be like a first look video at the Dark, um, Dark Hunter, and I don't, I know a lot of people have him because he's on Rebirth right now. And for those that want to consider raising him, um, hopefully this video will help you guys out as well. So first off, he has a stun, a 70% chance on his first skill and a 70% chance on his sec second skill for a 2 turn sap. Um, this is, it actually has a chance to land 2 turns with 2 turn sap. So it's basically like, like 4 saps, you know, all together. It's like, it's like 20% of the boss's HP if he's able to land this skill. Also, his second skill is a single target skill, meaning that um, it actually hits quite hard to, you know, it hits one target quite hard. So we're going to go with, we're going to test him out in a few dungeons. Um, I actually should show his runes a little bit. This is his, this is his, uh, I have a crit rate. I didn't max this out yet because I, I was saving the plus 12 for like a mission that I can use I can use it to complete a mission. Um, I went with HP and defense. I don't think he actually needs much attack and he can't really get his attack very high because his base attack is already somewhat low. But he him being a dark monster, he does already come with a 100% bonus crit damage. Um, this is really really nice. So all you really need to do to get his damage like decently high is to put some crit rate on him. Because if he crits this 100% crit damage will be like a bonus. Um, and then he he comes with pretty decent amount of HP and really high base defense. At 5 stars, he already has 2,500. If you compare that to a lot of other monsters, um, that's actually very, very high. Like, let's see, this one's Evil 3, this is Evil 3 as well. So his, his yeah, the, the Katito is also, or actually this is only 4 stars. Um, but you know, if you compare him to a lot of other monsters at um, five stars, he has very, very high base defense, and he is a defender, so his defense is going to be high. Um, that makes him really, really good for, I would say, this random boss nuking because of you know his crit damage. So he's going to able be able to hit the boss for quite hard, and he can land sap on the boss, which is also really really nice. His stun will help you through the level because the more units you stun, the less damage they do to you. So we're going to actually uh, test him out in a few levels. Let me just grab a few energy, and then we can we can head out. All right, let's just go with dungeons. I know I can like. Uh, farm relatively well. I usually go with a full new team for this, but we're gonna actually switch it up. We're gonna actually use the Dark Hunter and see if I can I can actually new through this level faster than before. Um, actually, there's there's no way to compare because I don't have a timer for for before, and I think I can I can bring up a timer for for this run as well. All I really need to do is bring out a stopwatch, and we should be good. All right, let's go with the stopwatch. Haven't had to bring out the stopwatch in quite a long time. I don't know, maybe I should do two runs and compare it. Normally you do the run with him, and then you do the run without him. Or wait, wait no, you do the run without him, then you do the run with him, and then you see, you can kind of compare the, um, the damage. I decided to keep the Fire Yuki in instead of the Succubus because the Fire Yuki has an armor break on her first skill. So if she's able to land the armor break, I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage with my Hunter. I know a lot of people are building him with attack, but I, I just felt like you don't. It's a little bit unnecessary because you don't need to 
his base attack is already pretty pretty bad. Um, but he does come with high crit damage. So the way to actually boost his DP up, DPS up, uh, like a cheap and effective way to boost his DPS up is to just give him crit rate. Because the more crit rate he has, the more crits he'll do. And the more damage he'll do to the boss. Alright, it's about a minute so far. And he's able to stun the side monsters during the boss stage, which will help you um, clear the clear them really, really fast as well. Alright, we got some armor break, and he, he's about to use his second skill. This should be able to kill, um, basically kill everything. I'm going to pause it if I... Actually, no, I'm not going to pause it because of the how we're timing this. But I can always do one more run after where I uh, try to armor break the boss and see if he can do decent damage to the boss. I know he, he doesn't do a lot of damage compared to some of the other Dark Hunters you see like floating around on uh, random videos on Reddit, but he does do already like very very high damage for being a defender monster, and I didn't give him any attack at all. I only gave him a bit of crit rate on one of his runes. I built him with um, HP and defense. So he's, he's already relatively effective, that was about 2 minutes or so. And I got a high star stone. Um, yeah, let's 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 do one more run. Let's let's like try to. I'm gonna pause it at the boss, and we'll we're gonna see how much damage he actually does to the boss just by just by using the second skill. And I think he does help early on, like on the early stages, because even if you kill, don't kill one of the units, like straight out kill one of them you're at least going to be able to stun one of them um, with your Dark Hunter. Like 70% chance is already very very high I would say compared to a lot of the other monsters that have stun on their first kill. Obviously you can't compare him to the Fire Arthur because Fire Arthur OP but um, you know he has a he has a really really good second skill for killing bosses. Alright, these guys are going to use their armor break. This should be able to kill this unit. I'm going to actually try to try to stop- oh my god. Oh shit, he went auto. My bad. I wanted to stop the auto and try to um... Well actually their SP bar is kind of full anyways. So I should be fine. See if he can burst down the boss really hard. Alright, let's, let's uh, armor break with the fire Yuki. Wow, it didn't land on the boss. Alright, let's just auto a bit until I have a full bar. Okay, okay, now I need to stop. Now I need to stop. Okay, let me see, let me see if I can at least armor break him. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Or should I actually, no, 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 this is a bad idea. All right, we're gonna we're gonna actually see how much damage he can do with his second skill. Keep in mind, I didn't give him any attack. He's this is just his pure base damage as a um, as a five star. And let's just hope this crit so you can actually see the amount of damage he does. Actually, that wasn't that wasn't that good. <laughs> if you compare him to the Dark Sea Star's nuke, but actually that's that's not that's not that bad. Com you know, for. For a monster that just basically is is a straight out nuker, well not not a straight out nuker but like a a, a sapper single target damage dealer um, slash defender because he is really really tanky as well. I'm not here to promote him. I'm just here to show him. All right. I'm just here to show him. You guys might not agree with my room build or my my gem build, but. I, I still think this is pretty good. I mean, obviously if I had really really good gems, um, like like all 6 star ones, I would probably put like 1 HP slot on him, because his defense is already like past 3000, it's definitely going to be past 3000 at evil 3. And all I really need to do is boost his HP, and then I'll go with like a crit rate um, attack, you know, gem, and then he'll be able to do like really really insane damage. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this monster. Uh, if you guys raised him, if you guys use him at all, I'll I'll be making more of these types of videos um, very very soon as well. Cause I 
you know, I've been I've been doing a lot of like theory stuff, but this is just a, lo a little bit more um, practical. So I'll see you guys in the future. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely leave me a leave me a like because likes do help me a lot. You guys don't know, but it, it they do. They help me so much. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.